Bet you thought you wouldn't see me today, but guess what? I stuck to my word. Here we are. What the flip is up, Tube Nation? Happy New Year. I hope you guys are being safe and responsible. Don't drink and drive, but have fun. But not too much fun. So this video is part two of my, I guess, Idlewild series. Like this is turning into a series just because I filmed so much. I'm really excited about this one. A lot happens in this one. I'm gonna keep this intro short and sweet because you're about to watch another hour long movie, basically. Before we get started, we do have a sponsor. So take it away, Sarah. <sighs> oh my God. Before we get started into the video, I just wanted to thank ExpressVPN. Uh-huh. Yup. <laughs> you know the name. Thank you for sponsoring another one of my videos. I love y'all. But Sarah, what is ExpressVPN? Who said that? God. <gasps> oh. Well, let me just tell you. A VPN is a fantastic tool for literally anyone who uses the internet. It encrypts your data, allowing it to travel from one place to another, but it does it safely and securely. And it is so easy. All you have to do is just click that giant button that says connect. And then once you press that button, you're connected. It is so easy that even your dumb little grandpa, <laughs> your dumb little grandpa, can figure it out. I'm sorry, your grandpa's not dumb. He's just old, so he could figure it out though. Yeehaw, grandpa! I personally love going in and changing my online location. It's the holiday season and I personally love sitting back with some hot cocoa and enjoying a good Christmas comedy. Don't you? Well, unlucky for me, the movie Office Christmas Party is not on US Netflix. I know. But luckily, with ExpressVPN, by changing my online location and logging into Australia Netflix, I'm able to watch all of the content that Australia has to offer, including a great Christmas comedy, Office Christmas Party, and that's exactly what I'm about to do during Christmas. It's a Christmas miracle! Using the internet without ExpressVPN is like rolling up to Taco Bell and for some reason you only order the chips and the cheese, not even the nachos. Don't you want a Crunchwrap Supreme? Don't you want the Nacho Bell Grande? What are you doing? There's so many other options. It's weird, it's whack, and we're not doing that. I personally like having more options and I think you would too. Just consider that. So if you wanna learn how to get three months of ExpressVPN for free, visit expressvpn.com slash sarabaska, or you can click the link in my description below. And if you guys do that, you will be directly supporting my channel, which would mean a lot to me. And you'll also get an amazing deal, so. Thank you so much, ExpressVPN, for sponsoring this video and let's get into it. Wow, Sarah, thank you so much. I'm definitely gonna download that. If you didn't watch my last video, pause this right now, open up a new tab, and go watch it. If you haven't watched that one, this one is not gonna make any sense to you, okay? Because in my last video, we ended it, and this one piggybacks right off of it. So go watch that and then come back here. Just don't forget about me. So at this point, I just checked into my new Q cabin. I just talked to the lady, the receptionist for like 20 minutes and she was a delight. I'm in my cabin now and I'm feeling crazy. Like I wanna like go out on the town or meet some Idlewilders. As I was kind of settling into my cabin, I started hearing this beeping noise. Every three minutes, just beep. But it was really subtle, but loud enough where I could hear it and it was starting to bother me. I like looked everywhere and I couldn't find it and I couldn't tell where the beep was coming from. It sounded like it was in my room, but every single time I would like get closer to it, it wouldn't be anywhere near me. And called my girl, <laughs> I called the receptionist and I told her what was happening. She was like, oh my God, oh my God, 
oh my God, I'm so sorry. I know exactly what's going on. I just have to go into the room next to you because there's like a maintenance room on the other side of me. She's like, I just have to go into the maintenance room and figure out how to turn it off because the maintenance guy already left to go home. So she's like, but, but I'll, I'll figure it out. I'm gonna call Ron and I'm gonna get that to shut up because I know how loud that is in your room only. And I was like, cool. This part of the vlog that you're about to watch now is me overhearing, because the walls are super thin, and this is me overhearing the sweet hippie receptionist lady talking to Ron in the maintenance room right next to me, and it is so funny. I was screaming laughing. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm gonna probably pop in again just to explain a situation, but yeah, love y'all. Enjoy the video. I was just sitting there enjoying my pasta. There was a dog in the restaurant. And I don't know if you saw, but there was another clip of an older woman just like petting the dog. That was her dog. I'm gonna name her Tammy. Okay, so Tammy had the dog. And I just kept looking over at them because they were so cute. It was like a group of older people, like in their 70s, just vibing. 
and they're just like this cute little friend group and their friend was the one playing the guitar on the stage so they were there to support him and shit and I just kept like smiling over at them and shit. The lady, Tammy with the dog, she just comes over to me, over to my table with the dog and then me and Tammy became homies. We were talking for 10 minutes and then I realized, I was like, I have to record this. Like, this is gold. So I like tried to, while I was talking to her, I tried to like slyly take my phone and kind of look down and like push record nonchalantly. So I picked up the conversation after 10 minutes because she asked me like why I was here because I was sitting by myself, right? She was like, so you're sitting alone. Like, what are you doing here? And I just kind of explained why I was here. And she was like, oh my gosh, I've been actually doing that a lot lately. I've been like going out to eat by myself because the guy I was seeing just broke up with me. And I was like, oh my God. She was like, yeah, I'm like really heartbroken right now. You're like inspiring me right now. And I was like, what? And then she started going in on her and this guy that she was seeing. She just started going into detail about their dynamic and why he broke up with her. Since she wasn't dating him for that long, she was just upset and just annoyed and she just needed to vent to somebody and sat down. She brought her chair over and sat down next to me. We were just talking about her breakup. Enjoy. I fucking love Tammy. That happened? Yeah, I know it sucks, but- Did know, it just happen? Happened. Yeah, just a few weeks ago, but it was oh. only, you know, the AK, you know, it was like one of those. Like a little things. swing. Well, it was more than that. I was like in love with him, but you know, I'm 73. So it's like, I don't have like 10 years to invest in a relationship that is like not gonna work for me. Totally. So anyway. Oh my but God. Wait, sax playing. <laughs> oh no, that's why you fell in love. <laughs> yeah, you'll fall in love with them. And uh, um, he used to play with Frank Zappa. Okay, wow. Back in the day in the 80s. Oh my so, goodness. And he's the head of the jazz department. The kids like win awards all the time. And then Marshall Hawkins, who's the bass player, used to play with Miles Davis. Shut and up. And Marshall founded the jazz program. And still what? teaches there. Okay, my phone number's on there so oh like, my god yes i will what, can i text you sure sure okay great okay if i have any questions yeah. i will text you thank you but so much it's just i mean he's just so amazing. good and he does this version of the wichita lineman that is just like over the moon wow and you missed that he's like the first song in his first set but oh man but the next time yeah next i'll be time. back all the oh, time yeah 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 that grandmother live oak tree you I'm know, gonna she's... go. Oh. Thank you so much for sure. telling me about that. I'm so excited. I'll send you a hey, picture. Listen, <laughs> you know, and, you know I, it's like I think about by myself all the time now. And yeah. I really don't think anything about it because I'm not gonna stop my life just because I don't have a man around. Right? Like, right. Yeah, right. I'm my own man. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. How to the people, man. And it's so interesting too because a lot of people are afraid to eat out alone because they're like, oh, people are going to judge me. It's like, no one, no one cares. Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? I'm having, vibing. Are you having a good time? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Middle, okay, Middle Ridge on the weekend and then um, Jazz Night Pharaoh Monday night. I'm going to send you a picture of that tree. All right. <laughs> Thank All right. you. It was All nice right. meeting you. You, <laughs> you too. Thank you. Hey. Ready. Uh, can I get a to-go box? Thank you. Thank you. No rush. Take your time. Thank you so much. That was so good. <laughs> Oh my 
god, I didn't realize there's a literal art museum in this restaurant. I had no idea. Looks like it's closed though. I'm coming back for sure. I didn't film anything after that, but basically I went back to the cabin and then Katie and I FaceTimed for the rest of the night. They're just blasting Pink Floyd outside. I think someone's performing. I can't tell if this is the actual song. Oh, I think it's someone singing. Oh, that's so cute. I'm gonna finish my makeup because I got kicked out of my cabin. Not actually, but... shopping around, right? I'm sure I probably put a little vibey montage in there somewhere. I walked by this crystal shop, kind of just like a spiritual store. I walked by it and I saw the hottest man in the window. Like he was just in there talking to the lady that worked at the front. No one else was in there. It was just him. He's like giggling with this lady that works there. And she's like this older woman. And he was so hot. I saw him and I was like, I'll go in and look around. So I walk in and I'm like overhearing his conversation with the worker and it's so adorable and wholesome. He was just very interested in learning how to meditate and shit. She was like teaching him more in depth about witch 
crystal holds which energy and he was so into it they were like joking around and giggling and shit i'm just like looking around and kind of like playing with my hair being subtle like he obviously noticed me because i was the only other person in the store but i was like fuck should i somehow include myself in this combo that they're having but how can i chime in in a chill pleasant way you know and also his voice was so hot his voice was so deep and like kind of raspy he just like intrigued me but i was like too nervous i was so nervous to chime in so i didn't and i'm just like shopping around and shit and then a squad of girls come in and so i was like fuck i'm not like the sender like i'm not the only other person in the store right now and the lady that was working there was just like walking him around telling him all of these things it was like a very personal one-on-one -on -one vibe and i feel like that lady was loving it too because she was like an older lady and he was so hot and she was probably loving that. I'm like trying to listen to their conversation still. Then the teen girls are just yabbing. I see him go up to the counter to check out and I was like, fuck man, how do I shoot my shot? But why isn't he shooting his shot with me? Maybe he has a girlfriend or a boyfriend or whatever. I like saw in the corner of my eye him like, he like looked at me a few times. He said something that made me laugh. Like I wanted to laugh out loud while he was paying for his stuff. He said something along the lines of like, do you ever feel pressure that you need to know like every single thing about every crystal? Be like, do people challenge you on your crystal knowledge? He said something like that, but it was funny and she was laughing and she was like, honestly, I think I know enough. There's still a lot that I don't know. And then he was like, there's just so much to learn. It was cute. He was like genuinely interested in this older lady. While he was leaving, he was like, this has been really eye-opening for me. I'll definitely come back. And I was like, okay, come back. Does that mean he lives here? But he was on his own. So it looks like he was just doing exactly what I'm doing too just like in a new random city and just going to all these random shops. Like he looked like a little lost puppy. So I was like, I feel like me and him are doing the exact same thing. We need to hang out. But I'm too much of a pussy. I'm too much of a pussy. So he checks out while I'm checking him out. And then I'm behind him in line. I feel like my magical fantasy, my rom-com moment in my head was that I was gonna pay for my shit and I would walk out and then he would be standing there, you know? That was that was my fantasy. I was like, ooh, if he's waiting outside or like lingering around, that's hot. Or we just like start making out, that's hot. With our crystal bags, oh my God. No, but, so I pay for my shit and I go outside and I'm like, where did he go? <laughs> I was like, where the fuck did he go? But also, why did he wait for me? I'm hot too. Yeah, so I go outside, I don't see him. I'm like, fuck man. Idlewild is really small. And so there's only so many stores in this plaza, like downtown. I'm in downtown. Friday night, it's popping. Like there's not really that much going on. So I'm like, he's here. He's in this vicinity, bitch. It's Friday night. I'm so creepy. No, I'm not. But like in my head, I was like, I'm gonna find him. Where where did he go? But then also I still wasn't done looking around too. So I, I, it wasn't like I was like following him, you know? I still wanted to keep walking and shopping. So I started walking in one direction. Eh. I had an intuition moment where I was like, no, Sarah, you should go back to your car and put your shopping bags in your car so you're not schlepping all these shopping bags. I followed my intuition and I'm walking into my car and I see him and he's walking over to my car in front of me. So he's like walking in the same direction as me, but he was like really far ahead, but he was walking towards my car in this old parking lot. And I was like, what the fuck? Is he gonna wait for me by my car with flowers and make out with me on my hood? No, but I was like, yes. I could tell it was him because he's so hot. It's really dark, but like you could, you just know. And he, I, he was wearing shorts. And so am I. We're meant to be. Anyway, so I'm walking to my car. I took my keys out, beep beep, unlocked it. He turns around and he sees, he sees me, but I'm not looking at him, right? Cause I don't care. 
and he turns around and sees that it's me that unlocked that car. I get to the car and he's just kind of like lingering. And so I'm slowly just like putting my bags in my back seat, hoping to God that he comes up to me and he's like, hey, you're cute. Are you from here? We should hit the brewery or the pub. I think the pub is the only thing that's like open late tonight, whatever. That didn't happen. I slowly put my bags in, waiting for him to make a move because I'm too shy. And then I watch him walk back. Like he walked away from the vicinity and he walked across the street. Now I'm just sitting here like, okay. We could have had something. I still need to check into my new cabin because I'm staying at a fucking another cabin because I just don't want to go home. And the Airbnb got Airbnb. I can't speak. This guy got me tongue tied. Even me just saying the word tongue tied got me tongue tied. The Airbnb guy just hit me up and he's like, hey, what's your ETA? So I'm gonna head over there. This place has a hot tub, which I'm stoked about because I'm getting in that bitch, but later, you know what I'm saying? I just wanna put all my shit in the cabin. I'll probably come back out to the city. I don't know. That's why I'm kind of just mad at myself for not sparking up a conversation in the crystal shop. You know, maybe I could have just made a friend. <laughs> who's not a 70 year old woman for once. <laughs> Every friend I've made out here is a 70 year old witch. And I don't, I'm not complaining. I love them. But like this guy was young. This guy looked curious. He wanted to adventure and bitch me too. Let's fucking figure this random city out together. I'm gonna call him Jeremy. Let's figure this little city out together, Jeremy. Ah, that's so annoying. Now I'm just like wondering like, where the fuck did he go? I kind of want to see, cause, okay. Cause there's two places that are open late on the weekends. There's more places, but there's one place that has live music. And I think I kind of want to go there later, but also I'm just like, what am I doing? Also, what if he's there? But also I saw him walk this way and the live music is that way unless he walked back and I just didn't see him. Ew, why am I whipped over this person that I haven't even had one conversation with? or I've never even made eye contact with. Ew, is this like creepy behavior? I also just don't know. Oh my God, is that him? Wait, no, it's not. I thought I just, okay, that's not him. This is so ridiculous of me. Okay, where the fuck is Jeremy? I just honestly wanna go up to Jeremy and be like, hey, are you here alone too? I should have said something like that. I wanted to, I don't know why I didn't. I felt his vibes in this crystal shop. You know what I'm saying? He was funny and hot as fuck. I can't just lose you this quick. I gotta find you. Oh my God. You're the voice I hear inside my head. The reason that I'm singing, I need to find you. I gotta find you. You're the missing piece. I need the song inside of me. I need to find you. I gotta find you. Fuck, that's so annoying. What's your name? <laughs> What's your Insta? You know? Like, what? Like, there's nothing that I can do. I can't sit here and regret. Okay, I'm gonna drive to my cabin now. I'm so annoyed. Okay, bye. Ah! Oh my God. I have full body chills. Can you imagine if I was like, Jeremy just somehow found my phone number and texted me? No, it's not about Jeremy. I just listened to Silk Sonic's new song. and they won't go away. That was magical. Are you joking? Blasting off into the new vibrations. Can we get it higher? Can we go higher? Wow! Wow! That was wow. Wait, I'm at the market. That song was so good. That's going on repeat all night tonight. Oh my God, that song was so good. You guys, this new cabin is really fucking cute and cool besides 
that. I'm so sorry that that happened to you. I'm so sorry. This is the only weird thing about the cabin, but it's so cute. So I'm gonna give you a little cabin tour. Let's go. So here's the front door. This is the first thing I see. Really sad. Um, but look at how nice this is. Wait, let me turn on. Oh my God. Wait, ew, I hate that. I really hate that. I hate that a lot actually. Okay, I hate that. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> this is the cabin. It's so cute. It's so spacious, but yet at the same time, it's homey, it's cozy. Here's a little breakfast. Kind of a very odd spot for like the dining situation. I feel like this table should be over there. But hey, <laughs> I'm not judging. Um, this is the couch. This is the kitchen. That's my backpack. These are the keys. And this freaked me out when the guy gave it to me. I was like, is this hair? Did y'all like cut someone's hair and use it on your keychain? And he giggled. But it literally just like feels like hair. Um, this is the kitchen. It's so adorable. There's a little refrigerator and he put some coffee in there for me. And he put some spring water and he put some seltzers. Fuck yeah, dude. His name's Michael, he's the owner. Michael was so funny. He met up with me just now. He's like a dad, just like a really chill dad that lived in LA for a long time. Got married, had kids, and was like, we need to get the fuck out of LA. So when they came here, he like just rents this cabin out to people. And he lives like right down the road. And he just does this for a living and he makes bang. But he was so chill. He was like telling me all about the property. There, I guess there's a bunch of history here. Um, I kind of forgot everything that he told me, but <laughs> it's written down. The history is written down in this little notebook thing. So I'll tell you guys about it. But first, look at this kitchen. It's giving me like 60s, 70s vibes. Like look, actually, I don't, why? Hate that, but like, Everything else is so aesthetically pleasing and shit. I love the colors here. I think that's so cool. Loving this oven. It's so vintage looking. Apparently this house is like hundreds of years old. That's what he told me. Wait, I love these cabinets. Ew, I don't want to see a rat. Okay, but there's trash. You get the vibes. Cute. Cute. I wish I knew how to start a fire, but I don't. Then you open up this door, right? Look at this bathroom. What the fuck? The shower is so big and you can't really tell in the video, but it's like a dark green, like an emerald green. It's so freaking pretty. There's me. This bathroom is so dope. Wait, do they have a washer and dryer? Oh. Washer and dryer. Wait, yes. That is so, so nice. That's, oh my God, that's fucking awesome. I'm so happy right now. Um, Cause I was so, like, I was only planning on staying here for like four days, but then I just extended my trip for so much longer that I ran out of clothes. And every place that I've been to so far doesn't have a washer or dryer besides right now. This has something to do with the house's history. There's like a bunch of history in this house. The vibes are very strong. Like some shit went down, but it's not like a negative energy. I just feel like a lot of shit went down because in the backyard, th there's like a creek right there. That creek in the back, a lot of shit went down hundreds of years ago in the back over there. He was telling me that this cabin that I'm in right now, a hundred years ago was the chauffeur's garage for this rich family. <laughs> so this isn't even the main house. There's a main house, which the guy lives in. The one who gave me the keys to this place. So the fact that this used to be a chauffeur's garage, I don't even, like what? What does it say? Okay, it says it was built in the early 1920s. <laughs> me saying it's hundreds of years old. Okay, it's like, a, it's a hundred years old though, not hundreds. 
our freestanding carriage house, the property's original garage slash sleeping quarters for the chauffeur. Michael, the owner, was like telling me that outside, instead of, there's like a deck out there and shit now, but it just used to be a really long driveway. I guess the chauffeur would come in here and park whatever the fuck he drove, a wagon, <laughs> I don't know. And then he would sleep up here, which I'll get to. So that's so interesting. So we're going up the stairs, Emerald. And here we are again. Here we are again. Here we are again. Here we are again. I feel like I'm on a ski trip or some shit. <laughs> like I feel like I should be standing here with my snowboard, but there's no snow. Once you get up here, look at how cute. This is adorable. Is this plant dead? Oh my God, me. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, man. Oh my God, I thought that was a vagina for a second. Like a pocket pussy. <laughs> oh my God, if there was just like a pocket pussy right there from the people that stayed in here before and the cleaners just didn't know what it was, thought it was a part of the decor. That rhymed. Oh, what's this? Oh my God, this is Rose face mist. Fuck yeah. And I guess the bathroom is stocked with like essential oils and they got like retinol in there. They like really care about skin. Okay. Love the art. I'm not sure the symbolism behind it. Owl Kachina. You see, I wish I had more insight on like where I am. There's museums and shit. I just haven't been able to go yet. I think I might do that tomorrow. Here's some more artwork. There's like stained glass windows and shit. Kind of looks like the Albertson sign. Earthy tones. And then just, what? <laughs> but that's okay. Oh, this random cowboy. Um, oh, I'm pissed. I wish I could text, um, what did I name him? Jeremy. I'd be like, hey, Jeremy. If you want, you can like come over to my cabin. No, I'm kidding. No, but like, ugh. Definitely gonna get in the fucking hot tub. Here's a phone. I don't know if it works. I think it's just for aesthetics. Oh no, it does work. It does work. Can you hear that? Oh, I feel like I'm being so loud. It's so quiet outside. It's so quiet. And I'm like, is that a pocket pussy? Like, oh my God. Very vintage-y. And I love that it's just right up here. This, <laughs> this feels like the same. It, this is what the last cabin, the really small one that I was just in. This is like her big sister. And the cabin that I was in last night was just like a little, like a little kid just trying to, like knows what the vibe is, you know, with like the loft. And it's like home, me and cozy, but Big sister knows what she's doing. Like this is, this literally is the exact same layout as the other place, but just so much nicer. I did love the last cabin though, cause it was very, very cozy, you know? But now I just want to dance around. Like I couldn't even make a lot of noise last night. Everyone was just stacked next to each other, kind of like Bates Motel. The walls were super fucking thin. So I felt like I had to be a little mouse, but in here, I can I can talk normally. I can play music. There are neighbors, but this house isn't a really, there's a lot of space around me. The only thing that I'm kind of worried about is the main house where the owner lives. It's like right there. Even then, like the house is far enough away where I don't think he would hear shit. So I'm like, I wanna party. I, I literally wanna like throw a party here right now but I don't know anybody here. Kind of want to go to the pub and be like, hey y'all, after party at my cabin and I'll lie and just say this is my house just to get Jeremy to like me. No, I feel like honestly, if I asked, <laughs> if I asked the owner, if I could have a party, he would be like, yeah, that's chill. Just make sure nothing gets broken and just make sure everything is cleaned up tomorrow. But I don't give a fuck. Like he was so just chill. 
Definitely microdoses mushrooms. That was alleged. But um, yeah, I love it. There's like a record player over there. I wanted to show y'all the front of the house. It's so cute. But he said that the hot tub was back here. And I just kind of wanted to see it. Ouch. Oh my God, look yeah. Shut up, this is sick. I want to throw a party, man. What's up y'all, I'm in a hot tub. And I can't be too loud. I feel like I could if I want to. But I just want to be respectful. So I'm gonna whisper. your cash app I'll get you for the drinks and I'm like what oh they just texted me again wrong Sarah sorry <laughs> okay I don't even have this person's number but they're from my hometown because the area code so like who the fuck <laughs> Katie's calling me she's so needy so a few hours later, I'm laying in my bed and I realize that Silk Sonic dropped their album that night. I got incredibly nervous. I didn't even really want to listen to it because I knew that I was about to have an intense emotional reaction and the sun was about to come up. But then I couldn't help myself and I was like, I just got to rip the bandaid off. What you're about to experience is just that, me having an intense emotional reaction to the new Silk Sonic album. Enjoy. Can't do this. all over my body. I can't even process how good this album is right now. Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack together. This is just too much. <laughs> and the fact that Thundercat was on that song. 
And I just ran into him at Walgreens and we texted for like a week. Not even, like two days, three days. Like, what the fuck, dude? This is just blowing my mind. Like, this shit's... The lyrics, so relatable. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I genuinely fucking hate them for making me feel something. No, not in a bad way. But it's like, fuck, dude. Oh, there's only... Oh, so this is the only... This is the last one that I have not heard yet. This is just too much. I, like, can't even listen to this last one. I think I'm, like, falling in love with them. Genuinely. But, like, I feel like this is what love has to feel like, right? I just can't stop smiling. <laughs> Ew, this is so annoying. I'm in love with... <laughs> I'm in love with Bruno Mars. And I just, I'm in love with them. They have, like, wives, though, right? Thundercat doesn't. Fuck, dude, I had that chance. No, I'm not gonna trip on that. I'm not tripping on that. Sarah, you are not tripping on that! Oh my god, music is so amazing. Music is so... Music is love, dude. I think that Silk Sonic is love. When I'm listening to this album, I'm just feeling nothing but love. God, they're so... Like, what angelic beings? They're... Oh my god, they're on such like a crazy frequency spiritually like individually they are on a high frequency spiritually but then when they come together it's literally like heaven <laughs> that's all like that's all i can describe this as it's like heaven man <laughs> this album feels like literal i'm a, like i'm in heaven <laughs> like it's like so blissful it's so like it just soothes my soul it feels like honey is just dripping down my body all like from my head to my toes it's like this crazy meditative state Oh my god, Silk Sonic is just so warm. But like some of the songs, it's like so painfully relatable, like in a heartbreaking way where it's like you're yearning for something that's not quite established. But it's just like that feeling of like, what could this be? Like it could be magical. It could be really, it could be love. We're in that stage of not realizing that yet. So like the potential, I think like the potential for love and like the imagination is so beautiful. I love that shit. Not the actual being in love part, that shit's exhausting, but just like that first stage of like, maybe this could be something. Oh, they really captured that beautifully on this album. After last night, goddamn. I'm just so happy. Bruno and Anderson are changing the wave of music, thank god. Oh my god, they're so powerful. This is such a huge impact and like such a beautiful step in the right direction of music. Even though there's so many different genres and different types of music and like people like what they like and everyone likes different things but this like the power that they hold and the fact that they're putting out such high vibrational music it's so hot like it's just good fucking vibes and it's relatable and some of it is like kind of like damn like some of the lyrics are just like fuck but it's it's also still really positive i don't know how to explain it it's like it's such like it's just soothing as fuck but still really it just i think that this is the first time where i've ever felt understood completely if that makes sense because even when i'm like feeling sad or i wish that like a situation turned out differently or if like if i'm like disappointed in something that happened right it's not this darkness that i feel it i mean sometimes it is my emotions are very vast and deep and different but like i feel like this album really captures exactly what I need. It's like, it's, it's kind of just like disappointment, but you're still vibing. <laughs> like that's exactly how I feel. Like it's like not that deep. <laughs> it's like a situation where you're like thinking about different outcomes and like different possibilities with like a certain person or like scenario and it's not going how you intended. So you're like, damn, that would have been really great. But you're still vibing, even though it like didn't work out. <laughs> I feel like that's exactly what this this is exactly how that feels. <laughs> Cause it's like, I'm not like, uh, like that upset about it. Like, yeah, it sucks. Like there's many situations in my life currently right now. It's like, it's not even just like about like a person in my life right now. Like I'm literally in the mountains trying to get away from like all the shit that I'm going through. Um, but it's about many different things, many different aspects in my life where it's not gut wrenching where I'm like grieving or, um, not any like really dark emotion. I'm just like, damn, <laughs> you know, that sucks. But I'm, I still love myself and I'm still vibing and I still know that I'm the shit. So like, what's up? What's going on? I'm gonna leave that door open, bitch. <laughs> oh my God, I think I'm in my fuckboy era.
No, but like, you know what I mean? Like, I finally get it. Dude, fly as me. After last night, literally kill me. Dude, this album's so good. It's, oh my god. It just feels like warm honey. It really fucking just feels like honey. It's just sweet on my lips. And on my fingertips. And on my vagina lips. Truthfully, this shit's hot. This shit's hot. And they know it. <laughs> that's what's so annoying. It's like, they know it. <laughs> and that's what makes it so hot. Like, they know that it's hot. And they know that it's good. And they know that they're so good. That's why they're on this, like, crazy high frequency. Spiritually. It's, like, insane to hear and, like, witness it. Because <laughs> they're just so good. <laughs> uh, I'm so happy for them. And I'm so proud of them. Dude, this is just iconic as fuck. I, like, want to get a poster in my room yesterday oh my god bro i can't even believe it my head is like pounding i can't tell if my head is pounding from like being so overwhelmed by this album or like if my hangover is coming through <laughs> channeling my hangover right now even though i haven't slept yet dude i'm like i'm about to get into a manic state i'm <laughs> like what how am i supposed to go to bed the sun is rising and i'm, I'm listening to one of the best i <laughs> like what i can't even comprehend it i need to see them live bro just seeing Bruno alone is too much. <laughs> I can't even imagine Andrew's effect. Also being there. <laughs> oh my god, dude. The talent, it exudes through every single cell and pore in their bodies. Like sweat. It's so hot. And you feel it. And you know it. Oh, that's why they came together. <laughs> that's so fucking cool. They're literally on the same fucking plane of existence where they could recognize that in each other and then they came together and they're just like wow oh wow that's that's some like god shit that's some like heavenly like god shit right there man not to get all like woo but like it's that's so cool i love them real recognize real man shit's so cool i love them so much they're so talented <laughs> i'm like giddy like a schoolgirl bitch oh my god their wives are so lucky. Imagine being Bruno Mars or Anderson Pack's wife. Like, imagine, oh my god, imagine being her wife. <laughs> Getting that energy every day. Oh my fuck. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> being Bruno Mars's wife or Anderson Pack's wife? Dude. Being tied down to Anderson Pack. Like, Anderson Pack looking at you in your eyes and being like, oh, I'm gonna marry this bitch. Getting down on his knee and, like, proposing. Anderson Pack having a wife. Ugh. That's so dope. <laughs> I wonder how their wives feel right now. Like, I want to know more about the wives. I want the wives to come together and make a band. <laughs> That'd be fucking insane. Oh my god, I, I'm like, I don't even want to listen to the last song. I'm just, like, sad it's over. I don't want it to be over. God, I like genuinely can't do this. Like really, I can't. Shit's too much. Like, can Anderson Pack and Bruno fucking relax for a second? <laughs> can you give me some time to like I don't know, breathe? <laughs> like what the fuck? I can't breathe. I can't. My heart is having a hard time beating <laughs> in a proper manner. I feel like a little fucking schoolgirl bitch. I'm not even kidding. I'm like so happy. I haven't felt this way since like Harry Styles dropped Fine Line. Truly. <laughs> Am I a stan? Ah! I knew I was a stan, but like, what the fuck? I think I'm a stan. That's why I'm being so like awkward and weird and shy about it, because like I'm like feeling something major. Hey ladies, I think I'm feeling something a little bit major, so I'm gonna have to cancel. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cancel everything and just stay like this right here for about a week. I'm gonna have to cancel. <laughs> Love you, though. I can't move. <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> I cannot move. <laughs> I genuinely can't believe this. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm fucking obsessed. <laughs> LOL. No, but, like, for real. I know it doesn't seem like I'm obsessed right now. <laughs> but trust me. If you know me, you know that. The state that I'm in right now is the realest version of me being obsessed with something. This is like the true authentic shit.
Did that make sense? I don't know. Maybe you get it, maybe you don't. If you've ever been a stan of anything, you know how I'm feeling. It feels like I'm, I'm like opening a portal up to some destruction. <laughs> like it's like exciting and I want to know everything about it, but it's going to cause some destruction and some heartache just because I love them so much. And you know, and they have wives, <laughs> which is like amazing. I'm like happy, but dude, they're amazing humans. <laughs> well, I don't know them personally. Maybe they, I know they got their shit. They got their baggage. But I want to know their baggage. That's the thing. Like, I just want to, like, know them. Oh, my God. I fucking love them. They're so inspiring. So happy. La, la, la. La, 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 la. My fucking God. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> I just want to... I want to give Bruno Mars a piggyback ride. <laughs> I just want to give a solid, like, five-minute piggyback ride. Well, Asapac's playing drums. I want to be in an open field. Perhaps a sunflower field or a daisy field. I don't care. I want it to be sunset. But not like the dark sunset. It's like, it's still sunny out, but like it's about to say, you know? And I want to be in an open field with Bruno Mars and Asapac. Just the three of us. <laughs> and Silk's not like the band, you know? And I want Asapac on the drums. Just playing with the band. And I just want Bruno Mars on my back. Perhaps even riding me like I'm a fucking pony. I don't care. I can put my hair in a ponytail. He can pretend that's the saddle. I don't know. He can pull my shit back. Not in a sexual way. Their wives are there too, you know. Their wives are like vibing in the corner. On the triangle or something. But they but they like know that <laughs> me and Bruno are platonic. Like what me and Bruno are doing. <laughs> it's for sure platonic. Um, but like actually I'm not just saying that. Like, it, like it's just like bestie vibes. He's just riding me like a pony. It's like I'm seeing myself on all fours. And Bruno's on my back. Holding on to my ponytail. But I'm just grooving. Like, I'm not, like, pretend. I could pretend I, like I'm a horse. <laughs> I could spit out a few nays here or there. I could spit out a few, like, nay. You know, like, nays here and there. But not make it a constant thing where it's, like, weird. Where I'm, like, actually thinking I'm a horse. But it's kind of just, like, a power thing. <laughs> And I'm kind of like galloping, but in a fun way. But like I'm galloping to the beat. So it's kind of like a dance move. But Bruno Mars is definitely on my back. I don't know the logistics yet of how this is happening. I don't know if I'm on all fours. I don't know if it's just a standard piggyback ride. But I'm seeing Bruno on my back. And that's gonna happen. I don't care. Or vice versa. I'll fucking hop on his back. Or Anderson. I don't give a shit. I want, to, I want someone to be on someone's back. The three of us. I don't care whose back, who's on. Bruno can be on Anderson's back. I don't care. Anderson, <laughs> Anderson can be on Bruno's back. I don't care. As long as I'm there. And that rhymed. But that's, that's some truth. That's some truth soup. And eat it up, bitch. I don't care. The wives can jump on my back. I don't care. <laughs> I would love that. I would probably rather the wives jump on my back. If I'm being honest, because I'm just more comfortable with women in general. I just want to be friends with the wives. I think that that's what I'm coming to terms with right now. Because I know that I'll never have a shot with Bruno or Anderson. They're a lot older than me. They've got wives. So let me just vibe out with the wives, man. They have to be cool. They have to be. Bruno and Anderson propose to them. You know what I'm saying? They gotta also match their vibe, too. Let me just be friends with the wives, dude, and let the magic happen. I can play the drums. I can't, but, like, I'm good with rhythm. Like, I can figure it out quickly. If Anderson, like, taught me how to play drums, I would literally poop my pants. <laughs> Just the first, the first 15 seconds of me sitting with Anderson Pack. <laughs> sitting as a drum set. I just poop my pants. And I poop his drum set. Ew, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that would be... That would be literally hell on earth. <laughs> like, actual hell. If I pooped my pants. If I pooped my pants while Anderson's trying to tease me to play drums. Oh my god, what the fuck? What would I even do? What would anybody do? <laughs> would he laugh? He would laugh, right? Or would he... Would, oh my god, is he like too cool where he'd be like, What the fuck? Did you just poop your pants? <laughs> and he's just, oh my god, he's like really nice about it, but like low-key, he's like, Wow, that was really weird. <laughs> that was 
that's really uncomfortable. I'm never text. I'm never like hanging out with that bitch again. Like she pooped my. <laughs> she pooped her pants. Oh my god. Like literally sharded herself. <laughs> Dude, I would actually do that too. Uh, me like trying to play it cool. I'm like, no, guys. I'm I'm cool. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like Anderson would think that was funny. I don't know. Anyway, it's such a good album. It's such a good album. I really should try to get like at least one hour of sleep. Oh my god, it's seven twenty. Fuck my life. Fucking Stan Silk Sonic forever. Listen to the album front to back. Don't skip any songs. I don't care if you've heard Leave the Door Open 50 million times. Don't skip it. It transitions with the album so beautifully. Listen to every fucking song. It just makes sense. Oh, I love them. Okay, bye. <laughs>